Hello, you guys. I'm back. It's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel for the love of. If you're joining for the first time, I do want to say welcome. Thank you for taking the time to click on this mini Bath and Body Works home fragrance slash soap slash wallflower mini haul. Uh, if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, as always, welcome on back. Yes, I, I actually didn't think I'd wind up doing another video this quickly, but fall is upon us and um, this is not a huge haul. Mostly wallflowers, some soaps, and then one candle that I'm very excited to share with you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, you did see that I was doing little teaser videos um, about pumpkin carving. I'm so excited it's back. There's been so much hype about this candle. My first time trying it this season. Um, I got it in a single wick form. Before we get into that, I do want to go down with all the price points and things like that with you guys because I did wind up using a coupon on these. Um, the wallflowers I got were two pack wallflowers. I'll give you the price point breakdown on all of those. I just wanna say, I hope you guys are doing well. Full on fall swing with most everybody who's talking about candles and wallflowers and different brands. So at this point, any video you see from me going forward is probably going to be fall. If you guys didn't catch my most recent video, the one I posted prior to this, I'm still in school, um, I'm doing back to back, so I have like a two week break. And uh, so I've still had so many of you ask about reviews and, and things like that this season. I will be reviewing and sharing the candles that I wind up purchasing myself. I always do that. Not always gonna be in frame, um, but I do wanna get them out to you because as you guys know, it's fun for me. So here we are. Okay, you guys, before I dive into the goodies that I wound up purchasing, I like giving you guys the price points, the breakdowns. Like I said, not a huge haul. What I did wind up getting was soaps. I was completely out of soaps. I could have stocked up more, but I'm kind of waiting for like all of the fall ones to come out. They don't have, is this new? They don't actually have the price point breakdowns on there. So I find that kind of interesting. So if I can find the screen grab, I will wind up putting that into the video right now because I know I didn't pay $7.50 per soap. Same thing with the wallflowers. So on here, the wallflowers are saying they were $7 a piece. That was not the case. So they were two pack wallflowers on sale for $7. Right now, at the time of filming this, they are no longer running that $7 promotion. I believe you can get three packs of wallflowers, three of the two packs of wallflowers, I think for like 27 or something like that. Um, when I wound up purchasing mine, the wallflowers wound up coming to like $5.65 per two pack, which is not that bad of a deal. The other item I wound up purchasing and getting for free for my Bath and Body Works loyalty program was a single wick candle. I'll talk about him last. This is pumpkin carving. I could not wait to share this with you guys. I pulled you guys a little bit closer so I could show you the wallflowers. And then I also wanted to show you the coupon that I wound up using. So <laughs> this is what I used. 20% off, it also came with a free wallflower refill and or plug up to $7.50 value. Historically in the past with Bath & Body Works, you could always use the coupons together if they came in the same mailer. What's starting to happen now, even with the Bath & Body Works app, um, if you order online, you cannot use uh, the coupons together. So if you have these coupons, you can use them together in store. At least that's what I got off the verbiage of these coupons because I did try to do the free wallflower and it didn't let me. Um, yeah, it says limit one 20% off coupon per customer valid for one time only. Does not apply to sales tax, blah, 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 blah. May not be combined with any other online orders. So keep that in mind if you're in there and you're trying to go back and forth with your coupons. If it's an online order, you can do one or the other, even though they came in the same mailer. Keep that in mind. Moving on to wallflowers. So I got a decent amount of two packs, which I'm super excited about. I was totally out. I was down to like one wallflower. So I kind of got more fall-ish ones and fall transitional ones. I can nine times out of 10 find the two packs that I like if they're on sale. So that's usually not a problem for me. Um, usually it's like the core ones or like the core seasonal ones. So one of the ones I wound up grabbing and you'll see there's only one in the pack right here. And this is a warm apple pie. I love this fragrance. I got the candle earlier this season. I think I got it like at 4th of July. And um, what I found is that candle's usually pretty light, but the wallflower, you guys, it seems to throw a little bit more than the candle. 
on cold or just the oil itself. To me, it almost smells like cherry-ish, like a cherry cobbler kind of. Um, not bad by any means. Once this bad boy is plugged in though, it smells so, so good. Is it the strongest wallflower in the world? No, not at all. But since I plugged this in last night, um, you know how it is when your wallflowers are running low or any of your home fragrance items are running low, you can kind of tell like the scent just isn't there anymore. Plugging this one in within 30 minutes or so, I was able to smell the fragrance. It just smells like a really yummy, crumbly kind of fruit apple-ish pie. Um, but on cold, at least to me, I get a bit of a cherry scent. I don't know why. Let me read you the notes. The notes for warm apple pie wallflowers are baked apple, brown sugar, and homemade crust. I do get a little bit of like that flaky apple type note. It's just it's just a good yummy fragrance. Definitely would repurchase that one again. Don't expect it to be the strongest um, throwing wallflower though. Next one I wound up grabbing. I've been getting these every season. I used to skip out on this one a lot. I don't know why. Notes for pumpkin cupcake include Madagascar vanilla, pumpkin spice, and fresh cupcake. Um, it's always hard to tell with the wallflower sometimes because they're so concentrated. Sometimes when you smell them on cold, it can be a little overpowering. Keep that in mind if you do wind up sniffing them or testing them in store. They may seem a little too much. It just smells good, yummy, cupcakey. A little, little bit of a smooth spice. Definitely not overly pumpkin. If you're not a huge pumpkin fan, I wouldn't let that note deter you. I did wind up purchasing um, the pumpkin cupcake last year. I think I wind up getting it every season. Moving along here, I had to grab a two pack of Marshmallow Fireside, my tried and true. This one I usually use a little bit later in the season, <laughs> um, but I just really liked it and I wound up putting it actually in my walk-in closet. I know it sounds like a weird place to have Marshmallow Fireside. I like it because it's kind of warm little bit of sweet, a little bit of cozy. I do enjoy this fragrance. The notes are toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, and vanilla. It's just not overly smoky. It's just, I don't know, you just almost get like that burnt, not quite burnt, but like singed golden type vanilla scent you would get from like a, a burnt marshmallow to where it's not overly woodsy. Um, sometimes this one can come across a little sweet, it can be a little bit much sometimes if you don't like those smokier fragrances, but I do usually wind up getting at least one Marshmallow Fireside each season. Actually, both of these are ones I get every year. First one being our beloved Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I actually just finished burning the candle of this and I had to get some of the wallflowers. Kind of wish I would have got two packs of these ones. The notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice. And then my tried and true, this one's not even gonna get plugged in or used probably till September, none other than pumpkin apple. Um, just a classic scent. I, I love Bath & Body Works pumpkin apple. The notes are red apple, pumpkin, and ground cinnamon. It's just a perfect balance of pumpkin and apple. So always grab these ones. I kind of wish I would have grabbed two of the pumpkin pecan waffles. If you guys are interested, I can obviously wind up doing um, Instagram follow-ups as I wind up burning these or using them in my wallflowers. Um, the only one thus far I've used is warm apple pie and um, marshmallow fireside. So far, the marshmallow fireside isn't as strong as I remember in seasons past, and it's even in an enclosed area. So I did just put that in today, so who knows? We'll give it a try, we'll see. It could be the warmer itself but the warm apple pie is performing pretty decently given the fact that that scent itself is a little bit light. So all the ones I wound up purchasing today, I will probably wind up getting again if they go on sale. Moving on to soaps. Before I mention this, I'm kicking myself for not grabbing this out of my bathroom. Um, I was so out of soaps that I actually wound up, one of the soaps I was going to show you is currently in use in my bathroom, so I'm not gonna get up and grab it. I'll insert a picture here. Um, I did wind up grabbing one of the Blueberry Crumble Foaming Hand Soaps. Again, that's one of those things where I'm just kicking myself in the butt for not getting another one. Um, 
I was doing a lot of like berry waffle cone, which is actually what I have going right here, and some of like those fruity berry scents this summer, but I still think the blueberry crumble is one of the best soaps for like summer or even transitional into fall. It's very yummy. It's a strong soap. If you're a blueberry fan and a bakery fan, you might want to check it out. So that one I actually have currently in use right now, but I do have three more to show you. And these are all ones, most of them, that I wind up getting each season. The first one here, again, another pumpkin cupcake, a great transitional fragrance. It's not overly pumpkin-y. This has just got that yummy, creaminess to it. I don't even get much pumpkin. It just is like a yummy cupcake type fragrance. So if that's your thing and you like a little bit of warmth, maybe a little bit of like a pumpkin spice, allspice, you might want to check this one out. This is the next one I'm going to be using as I transition into like fall fragrance. So when I grabbed, no big surprise, pumpkin apple. I had to. Um, what I like about pumpkin apple is the soap, the wallflower, and the candle, at least to me, seem to smell very, very similar across all forms, which is fantastic. I think the notes are even the save on here. Yeah, red apples, red delicious apples, pumpkin, and then they are saying there's clove bud in this one. Let's see if it smells like it has in seasons past. It does. I love this one. Um, maybe I get a little bit more sharpness, maybe a little more clove, but this screams fall to me. To me, the pumpkin apple screams fall so much more than say the pumpkin cupcake. So keep that in mind. If you still want yummy bakery, do pumpkin cupcake. If you want full on fall, go with a pumpkin apple. Now, if you've watched me for a while, I'm not a huge Halloween fan. I don't hate it. I like Halloween. I just don't do the whole decorating for Halloween, but I do like a good apple and I wanted to get a good apple soap for fall. So I did grab Wicked Apple. I think this is my first time trying this one. Um, I have tried some of the Halloween soaps in the past, but I wanted a good apple scent. Uh, I don't even remember the notes on here. So green apple, which I like red apple better, but green apple, creepy caramel, and then vanilla bean. Okay, so that was incredibly hard to open. <laughs> I'm, I've never had an issue opening up the soaps from Bath & Body Works for whatever reason. I don't know if you guys can tell on screen. Look at the difference, how much thinner the plastic is on this one versus their Halloween ones. Maybe they are tired of people opening them up as I just did and smelling them in store. I did just do a pump of this one on my hand just to kind of give it a test. It is a green apple. Um, not bad. I don't mind green apple. I prefer red apple, but I get more of like a sour apple, which makes sense. If you like like a soury kind of apple, you might enjoy this one. I don't get much caramel and I don't get much vanilla. Um, would I get this one again? Don't know, just because the green apple is so sharp on here. So keep that in mind if you like like a super sharp, it's almost like a green apple you would get in a caramel apple type candle or fragrance, but but not caramel. <laughs> to me, it's just the green apple note that's coming out. I'll definitely keep it. I like it. It's bright. I would imagine this one being very, very strong. That is the Wicked Apple right there. I will wind up keeping the Wicked Apple just because it's a different type of apple. So again, just like with the wallflowers, I can definitely do Instagram follow-ups on you guys and let you know how the soaps go if you're interested. That's it on the wallflowers and the soaps. Like I said, this is a very mini haul, but I do have one other thing to show you. And of course, as I'm about to film this for you guys, maintenance is about to be doing yard work. So I'm gonna cut this until they're done and we will talk about our beloved pumpkin carving. All right, guys, I think this is as good as it's gonna get with maintenance. They're going back and forth. They kind of went away. Hopefully that's not too distracting, but I really wanna talk about pumpkin carving. If you can see, I have some of my cute little fall stuff up already. So I have not smelt this candle before. I know it came out several years ago. I never purchased it. I, I think it came out quite a while ago, actually. So I had a free item coupon, wound up doing, I think it was up to $16.50 value or up to $14.50 value. Typically, I'll either get like a wallflower plug um, or a single wick candle. That's typically all I'll get with the free item coupons. 
but I saw the pumpkin carving was available. Look at how cute the packaging is. Again, I know single wick candles aren't gonna have the same throw or anything like that as a three wick, but I got this because I wanted to try out the scent itself. And I love it. I can see the appeal. It's a little bit more spicy on cold than I expected. I was expecting really a, like a pumpkin guts. I was expecting just like a pure pumpkin and that's okay. Let me read you the notes and I'll tell you what I get from this candle. So the notes for pumpkin carving, and then of course this is the fall 2021 version. So the notes are, they don't have the notes on the bottom of this. Okay, <laughs> for pumpkin carving, I'm gonna tell you what I get from it. It's definitely a pumpkin fragrance. It's got pumpkin spice in it. Definitely a pumpkin, almost like a pure pumpkin. Um, but it's not quite pumpkin spice where it's like a pumpkin pie. It's a very just traditional pumpkin fragrance, but it does have a bit of spice. Almost a classic, like a classic pumpkin scent. Not as intense as Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin by any means, which I really, really like. Um, I would purchase this in a three wick form over Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I have a love-hate relationship with Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I don't hate it. I'll get a couple each year. It can be a little too much. But if you want something that's a classic pumpkin fall scent that does have a little bit of spice and warmth to it, you might want to check this one out. Like I said, I'm surprised they didn't put the notes on the bottom of this at all. They used to, I believe, in all the single wicks, that's new, but I do love the Halloween packaging. I will wind up trying this one out if you're interested in my thoughts on the single wick performance of pumpkin carving. I'll wind up doing an Instagram follow-up. I'll obviously wind up trying this in a smaller room, but I'm so glad I tried it. Absolutely love it. And I will wind up probably buying the three wick version. So I'm very, very happy with this one. Don't know if they have it in Wallflowers yet. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. This order was from like a little over a week ago, so they may have released new ones, but I would definitely love trying this in the three wick. So check me out on Instagram and I'll do follow-ups on this one. Speaking of Instagram, before I wind up today's video, if you're on Instagram, please come find me at life, L-I-F-E, underscore with W-I-T-H, underscore letter L. I use my Instagram to post a lot of my upcoming videos, purchases, hauls. Uh, vendor wax. You're starting to see me talk a little, little bit more about skincare on there. That's kind of my new journey. So if you're interested in skincare, um, skincare efficacy products like that, I am by no means a um, licensed professional, just a consumer who likes to try stuff. So if you're interested in all things home fragrance, some skincare, body care, things like that, come find me on Instagram. If you have used or tried or plan on trying any of the products I talked about in today's video, Leave in the comments below. Let me know which ones are your favorites or let me know what you're burning right now. You guys, as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're new to my channel, thank you for taking the time to click on this. I will be doing videos hopefully once or twice a month as soon as I wind up getting products. I do plan to be doing hauls from maybe some other vendors this season and possibly have some new and exciting things to share with you later on in the fall. Until then, you guys, as always, enjoy your fall burns. Enjoy the rest of your summer. I can't believe August is already here. I know a lot of you are burning fall already. Summer always goes by way too quick, but I know a lot of you are just like me and we love the fall stuff anyway, so it's not too bad. All right, you guys, thanks for taking the time to watch my video. Until next time, we'll see you later.